This WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Download, Install, and Activate a New WordPress Theme. This is an intermediate level tutorial because you'll be using FTP software to do the um, uploading of a new theme to hosting for the website or blog, the WordPress website or blog. And uh, that part is not actually something that you have to do on on some blogs or websites with WordPress because themes already exist in the theme folder. So I'll show you what I mean by that. For website or blog hosted on WordPress.com as the Business Blogging 101 site is, um, we can go into the dashboard here and click on presentation and you see it shows us the themes tab and this is the current theme okay which we know it looks like that uh, and then there are a whole bunch of additional themes here in this presentation themes section so you can cruise through there and look at each one um, if I click on one of these which one should we try? Let's let's do this one here. Chaotic Soul. Not a typical business blogging theme, but okay, so you can see how that looks. You get a kind of a preview with uh, the Business Blogging 101 content. And then up here in the upper right is a little link and it says Activate Chaotic Soul. Okay, so let's try that. I will activate and boom okay so it says new theme activated the current theme is now chaotic soul okay whereas um, I forget the name of the one it was before but uh, we have changed theme so if we go back and refresh this page we're gonna get a big shock yeah I kinda like that look uh, so you see I've just changed themes in about two seconds and um, I'll have to go back and find the theme to change it back eventually, but we won't worry about that right now. Now that's easy to do, uh, given that all those themes are already there for you to choose from. If you host your blog or website on, uh, you know, third-party hosting, which is what I recommend, by the way, um, for most purposes, definitely for businesses that you host your own blog or website. Um, we're going to use this site here uh, to show how this works. So here's another McBoz uh, website blog that runs on WordPress and right now it's got this theme going on. Okay. If we um, want to change a theme, if we have found a theme that we like somewhere else, we can install that and then use it for our blog. Um, now some of you may be more familiar with this than others but here's a uh, one site there there are literally um, you know probably thousands of WordPress themes out there if you Google as I did here WordPress themes you'll see the many thousands seven million pages uh, as Google tells us so the top one in the organic search results is this theme viewer okay and that's this one right here at themes.wordpress.net some nice themes on here most of them are free for non-commercial use if you want to use them for commercial purposes uh, then you know just look up the individual designer uh, normally their link is listed at the bottom of, of the theme so let's have a look at this real quick you can see that um, you can filter or sort it says these themes I'm gonna pick a three column okay and I'm gonna say show show me only three column themes alright here we go uh, if I do a test run of any of these the link says test run it just loads up the theme so I can try the navigation click on the tabs see how things are formatted okay P 
posts, etc. And each theme is going to have, you know, um, in some cases, very different look and feel. Okay, we'll get out of that. All right, so say I've selected a theme that I like and I would like to um, install it on my own blog or website. All I've got to do is this. I'm going to click on download. Save this theme. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. It is a zip file. Uh, okay, that's done. And now get rid of this and get rid of this and close out of that. Okay, so I've got on my desktop the zip file and I'm going to just move these up here. Double click on the zip file to expand it and I'll get a single folder and this folder if I double click on that I'll show you what's inside probably about 20 items here it's got a folder for images and then roughly 20 mostly uh, PHP files in there that constitute the theme okay now all we have to do with this folder is upload it to the themes folder in the WordPress site or blog. Here's the McBuzz root directory and in here I'll show you where I've got this uh, particular uh, website residing. Okay, so this is essentially the root for the blog or website that runs on WordPress in this case. It's in a folder just called example02. If I open up the folder called WP content, okay, this is common to every WordPress blog or website, and inside there is a folder called themes. Okay, open that up, and now I'm going to drag my folder. You can see it's actually here already because I've uploaded it once before but never mind that. I'm just going to drag this folder into the themes folder for my website or blog. Okay, That will upload and as soon as that is finished we can go back assuming that's going to finish in just a few seconds we can go back to our site here. Okay, Here's the site as it looks right now. Here's the dashboard. Go to presentation, just like we did on the WordPress.com site. That's our current theme. Okay, And I see the one I want to choose that I just uploaded called Networker 1.0. So again, that's in there because I just uploaded the folder to the themes folder on my site. I'm going to select that. Okay. And in this case I don't get a preview of it and I don't have to say activate. I just click on it and it is now the current theme. Okay. So if I go back here and refresh this site, there it is, the new theme installed. Okay that's all you have to do to install and activate a new WordPress theme.